These words are not to be used by the logical mind, to try and understand them in 3D, as that is not working as you are noticing for those of you that are still focused on attempting to do this, as this is about releasing the ego, to step into such divine information. The ego is not welcomed into the higher realms, as the ego causes wars, separation, divisions, hate, and that is not allowed in transforming beyond the lower realms, into the higher realms in our cosmic uniting. With clear intentions that are entered into more of your mastery, then this is sending you a more balanced nature in being divine, in knowing that you are aligned more with your true self. The shedding process of the ego takes a long time, as once you awaken, it is not just a couple of weeks, but takes many months, years to do so, as this is how you know that such an unfolding process is transcending you beyond harmful communications. Those who still cuss non-stop are still holding on to ego, and are not as awakened as many feel they are, as this is about communicating in a gentle way, not in cussing, and then saying with ego, fight those fools. That is all ego talk. That is not the wisdom of your higher self, which is the whole focus of you ascending beyond the drama outside of you, into more of a field of pure presence. In the knowing that you are healed enough to no longer cuss non-stop, then you are showing that you are gentle enough to communicate through your divine self, not through the ego self. Sure, those who label who I am as your commander Ashtar, of who we are of the angelic realms, of the Galactic Council, of the Galactic Federation of Light as separate, meaning talk with ego, you are a commander, you are an angel, you are an extraterrestrial, sorry I need to differentiate which is who, maybe it is the ego, are still in ego. Ego looks for separation, not for unity, and often stays in the lower realms, as this is the state of comfortability, to talk about war violence, harm, and separated natures. The ego secretly exists in a state of consistent suffering, misery, and often yells, instead of talking in a calm way of being, in a showing which of you that are existing still in ego, and which are transcended beyond that state more in your pure conscious awareness. With a steady rise to return into your star roots, then this takes place within you where you are knowing that you are aligned with a higher resonance, with a state that is centered in mastery. Being a spiritual master means that you are continuously in service to this world, and certainly anyone supporting war have not reached spiritual mastery yet, so this eliminates the lies of those who say with ego, everyone on this planet is a spiritual master if all are one. No, that is not how it works. As you see clearly now which of you are awakened, and are then being a peaceful presence on this world to see, and feel in the united front of light. Our light team are not just walking around in our starships, we are walking around on this earth in human bodies, in thousands, and there are those more activated, simply from many years of light work. Sure, there are those that say with ego. I was activated from the day I was born, and I am from the 15th dimension, so sorry that I bursted your bubble, I work just as hard as you do. No, this is not how it works, and these are clearly lies, as activation takes place after you experience a set of ego rising, as you experience attachments to ego when you go to school, and are taught lessons are taught there are smart people and dumb people, and that sets you away from ascension. Ascension is not about labeling, it is about rising into an awakened source, where you are activated enough to rise into a consistent dedication of providing service to this world. Such service is all aimed at rising the frequency of this planet, and along with this comes the individual decision of each individual that is here for helping with ascension, in the number of waves of ascended masters to lead the way. Those stuck in duality, in ego are going to keep saying, 
everyone is here to help with ascension on the planet, as no, those that are supporting war, and going on killing sprees are not helping to rise the planet into a peaceful nature. Only those of you that are specially trained from our star nations are able to impart such information about ascension, to know the reality of being a galactic citizen, as this is highly important to each of you. Those that are aware of such an evolved state as the immediate destiny of those of you aiming at ascension into full consciousness in this lifetime are consistently dedicated to more of your light work. Such information, spreading allows you to know that you are united, you are not divided, as this unity is all in your soul access of more of your cosmic light, in our light team, in who we are of the Galactic Federation of Light of your angelic guardians into more of a completion stage. This information is not researched, but embedded in our existence in being from the stars, as that is how you access your endless creative potential, and create in such an abundant nature. There are no ways to fake such information, and not to be risen into a high enough vibrations with such a vast amount of awareness, and connections that are gracefully divine. The divine nature that you are connected to then sends you much energy in being more in our star nations in your preparation to receive more assistance that allows you to integrate the ways of being a galactic being. Being an extraterrestrial in the human form has shown you the ways of how humanity have been living for many generations, and you have come to shatter that system with pure unconditional love. Now that you are ready to ascend beyond all such states of divided natures, then you are rising more of your frequency into knowing the ways of being in our galactic communities again. From the fall from grace, into an ascended state, then you are seeing that such information continues beyond all outer drama of government collapses going on in your world. It takes courage to keep spreading information in vastness about ascension over many years, when you receive mostly judgments, and fear instead of comfort in your missions. This is how you are brave, as you are now more focused on those who are encouraging your light work, not those who are trying to stop it, as the cabal controlled mind control. With your clear entrance into the stillness of your soul, then you are able to know which are for our light team, and which are for the cabal, as this is as clear as those who spread hate, and violence, and those who spread unity, and unconditional love. All souls are given the opportunity to ascend in future lifetimes, and such an opportunity now for those of you choosing full consciousness are preparing your light bodies to then take off into the future. In our future home worlds, then it exists on a perfect vibration of source, with no wars, with blissfulness, with physical manifestations that are less dense than 3D. With the entering of more light, then you are feeling the flow of your divine grace then send more healing into the core of this world, into the many more that are ascending into full consciousness now. Your special talents, and abilities as a healer are not from only experiencing duality, but from in being from our star nations, in then leading the way for our whole galactic crew into more of the ascended realms. With the delightful embrace of more of your spiritual mastery, then you are leaps and bounds ahead of those who are still focused more on the ego, in divisions, and harm, simply. We stand in a light celebration, We are the angelic realms, we are the galactic federation of light.